a little dirty, but still pretty, pretty nice if you ask me. All right, guys. So I'm here with Cody. You guys haven't seen Cody in a while. He's the <laughs> one with the blue Miata with all the carbon fiber. Things sick. What's up, Cody? What's up? All right. So what we're doing is cleaning up in here, just prepping it all. And while he's cleaning it up, I'm gonna come over inside. And I'm gonna start popping my axles off because diff's coming out first, along with the PPF. And yeah, I already got my uh, tabs welded on for my uh, ladder support, or ladder brace. My welding's not the prettiest one, I'm not gonna really show you guys too much of it. I gotta go back over it and really clean it up and get some better welds in it. But I'm gonna wait till I got the diff out so I can get my head up in there with the mask on and just get a cleaner welds and do a better job. All right, guys, look at the progress. It is so empty under there. Just a transmission left. And yeah, we got the old diff out. It's right here. My buddy's about to come pick it up. Well, not today, but I got a buddy that wants it. It's a Torsen. The little hole. And this is the 3.6, ready to go in. There's the PPF. And we are dirty boys, eh? <laughs> Fucking. The gloves already rips. Yeah, I got a cut here, so I'm just wearing this just for that, or else I wouldn't care. But uh, yeah, lots going on. All right, guys. So everything in here is out. Um, the only problem is is that I need a new clutch, and I need to resurface all my uh, flywheels and shit. So yeah, that kind of blows. But it's good because I already have everything apart. And uh, yeah, don't look at my welds. Just don't look at them. <laughs> don't, don't. Don't look at them. <laughs> All right, I'm learning to weld stuff. It will hold. It's just there for support. It's not really doing much. All right, guys. So there's the drive shaft and my exhaust, obviously. There's the old shoddy. Well, not shoddy. It's totally fine. Nothing's wrong with it. I'm gonna sell it. Um, just my one or actually this is a yeah it's a no it's a 1.8 transmission that's right came off a 96 miata it's pretty cool and then over here we got the bad boy six speed much much thicker as you can tell it just seems so much more beefy and stronger yeah definitely looks more sturdy then here's the old differential with the hole, a little tiny hole in the middle. And here's the new guy just snucked up in there. Looking all good, cleaned it all up. Cleaned everything up, the transmission. Well, actually Cody cleaned it all up on the inside. Nice job, man. Did a good one, Cody. And then yeah, cleaned up the shifter portion back here. If you guys saw, it was like super dirty, so I just cleaned it all up. And yeah, so that just leaves me with getting a new clutch, which really sucks because I had everything ready to go, and I just didn't account for my clutch being so low. I would grab it, but my hands actually here. Show you guys real quick. I already washed my hands. I just don't want to get them dirty. But yeah, you can see there's not much life left in this clutch. So, unfortunately, it is time. So, unfortunately, it is time for a new one. I haven't made a video about this yet, but I'm going to be doing one soon. About how many new tires. It's going to look real good. So, stay tuned for that video. Start the windy, guys. It's a nice, beautiful day out here. Also, I got new tires coming. Going 245, so they won't have that stretch there. They'll be nice and flush. And then I went along and cleaned up my PPF. So yeah, and I cleaned up the back of the engine bay. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for more. And yeah, I kind of screwed right now. I got to wait on a clutch, so that kind of blows. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for a video about the truck's tires because it's just gonna be a short one because I know a lot of guys are curious of how they fit with with uh, stock fitment 
and stock rims and all that. So I'll make a quick video for the truck guys out there. Anything you want to say, Cody? Like and subscribe.